Hopefully you've seen part one, but if not, the link is right here, and again, I apologize for the two-parter. Using the move objects cheat to put most of these things in here. Like that one city living plant, I love it so much that I put in the corner of that little area right there, that little plant. I love it so much, and I like it to decorate the indoors, but for some reason you're, you're not allowed to put it indoors, so I use the bb.move objects size it down and put it in that bookshelf that we just got in that new update i love it i put that in a lot and i'm doing the accessories and the paintings and little objects and i think this room is almost done i used the bowling night chairs over there in the little corner i think the colors came out really nice i don't think this house really has a color scheme you know, more modern, like most of my houses like, that I've done before, it's usually brown, country styled. So since I did it modern, I don't think it really had a style. I need to do, I want to do a totally modern house, like black and white. I don't know how fun that would be. Let me know if you want me to do that. But yeah, this one, not many colors. I struggled with this bathroom. It was a weird shape. I don't totally know why I put it over there, but when I'm putting in the little stuff and the mirrors, the counter, I've been liking to do in the big bathrooms. Usually it's attached to the master bedroom in the houses I've been doing. I put in a little makeup area, the counters and the bar stool to sit. And I think it's nice and cute. So I've been doing that. Now I'm going to the other bedroom, the bathroom before I do the bedrooms. I did it kind of yellow styled, so this bedroom is definitely meant for a girl. It could work for a boy to change some of the stuff. Or... No. I'm putting the laundry basket in. I love the little decorations thing, it comes out really cute. And that's the new desk and chair we got in the patch update, too. They're so cute. You're putting up the posters and then the bed. I love that artist's bed, I think it's one of my favorites. And then playing around with the carpets, matching the yellow style of the room. I did play in this house after I built it, and it wouldn't let me, when I, I wanted to, my sim to use that little laptop on that desk, and she was doing that, like, no footprint thought. And I was like, why couldn't you go here? So I think I deleted one of the things on the desk, and then it worked, or I made her sit her down first. And that happened to one of my friends, too. She told me about it. Her sim wouldn't sit in the chair by herself. So she had her sit in the chair and then use the computer and it worked. Uh, is that glitch for you guys? Or I don't know. They might have fixed it. I might have to try it again soon. So I changed the railings in the front. But it appears I did not change them in the back. Well, there we are switching back into the bedroom. This part's a little laggy, you can notice. The, had to speed it up a little fast to make the video not so long. I apologize for the fans in that last little bit. I think I calmed them down a little bit. Hopefully they won't bother us for a little while. And there goes my phone. I have it on vibrate so the alerts don't go off that loud. Oh, guess I got it taken off by vibrate. Never mind. Sorry. And now I'm doing the master bedroom. I did it very basic colors. And this comes from my style a little bit, if you notice. If you know, if you watch my other YouTube videos, my other builds, you kind of understand a little bit. But I did that desk in bookshelf. That's different. Never did that before. So I just felt like that spot's perfect for a desk. I'll put it there. This room was small, but I liked it. It was, like, nice and purple. I think, honestly, if you change the wall, I think it's good for either boy or girl. Sim works. I did a lot of purple. If you change purple, that's the only big change you could do. It was a very basic room. Bed, dresser, mirror. I think I put a plant in. Yeah, there's the city living plant I put. I honestly think that's it. Then I think, oh, I put a, I put a chess table in that room. Oh, and here's kids. Oh, I love the way this kid's room turned out. I remember this. I love it so much. I honestly, I love decorating kids' room. Like, there's not many decorations you could do. Like, they're all in that one section. If you go to the kids' room section, click on the toys, all those decorations are right there at your fingertips, and I love it. So I put everything in one little room, and I love the way it looks. 
some people I know tell me they don't like it as clustered. Like, I like my builds clustered. I love the cluster. But I know some people don't. So they're good. Like, if a living room, they're good with a couch, a TV, table, rug, maybe a plant. And they're good. But I like all the stuff atop the fireplace. And I like toys in the floors and the baskets and, like, the extra shelves and bookcases and rugs and all that good stuff. I've been starting to put curtains in a lot of my builds. I haven't done, like, I, I wasn't doing that originally, but I actually really like it. And I think I go through and I put curtains in the end. This living room was a struggle for me. I don't really know if I like the way it turned out. Mm, I think it's all right. And I put that little kid's corner. Now I'm doing the kitchen. I recently found out that if you click on the counter, right, any counter, and then you click on the color selection, and then next to that, you can choose what type of orientation you want the counter in. I honestly, I never knew about that. I know I downloaded like builds from the gallery or in I think Maxis's house, I don't know. But the cabinets above had like cool styles to them and I clicked on it and it went away. And I just thought, how do you do this then? If you, Like, I don't know how to do this. And then I was watching a YouTube video. I don't know who it was, but I, I saw them for like a split second. I think I saw them just put the cool cabinet up and I was like, okay, I'm going back to see how they did this. And luckily they like showed it. And I saw that little extra section and I was like, whoa, whoa, do I have this in my game? So I went and I looked and I had it. I was like, oh, this is so cool. I really love the way the kitchen turned out. You can see all the clutter I put on the counter, but like when I put those curtains up, I loved it. Now I'm doing the dining room. And then I end up putting um, more cabinets along the back. I didn't really know what else to put there. But I did like that big shelving cabinet I just had in there. But I took away like really quick. You might not have seen it. I put it outside the dining room against that little wall that you'll see in a Oh, right there. You see them? I guess I did it before. But I really liked it. So I put it out there. And then I like doing the two chairs at the end of the dining table are different. I think it's really cute. I like it. The dining room's very basic. And then here I am changing all the colors of the living room because I didn't like it. And you can see there's not a color scheme to that. Okay, my fans have calmed down and I'm back from playing Club Penguin. Gotta do something while I'm waiting, am I right? As you see, I just put that, like, um, it came from Cats and Dog, but that fish and bait poster i put it above the sinks i think it actually looked pretty cute and cool i like it i put a lot of paintings in this bathroom it's really big so a lot of space to fill and then i use those city living posters i really like those posters i think they're so cool such cool pictures i managed to fit a piano in here i don't know if that was the best idea but i did it anyway this room I think might be the most modern in the house. I mean, I can't say that others aren't modern. The kitchen, I could put in a country house easy, but the living room, I don't know if I would put that in any house but this. I feel like only a modern house could fit all those colors. But this was like a lot of white in this room. And I'm doing the little decorations, putting the stuff on that chest. And out here I'm doing the outdoor seating area connected to the kitchen. And I put a grill out here. That's it. It's very simple. And I put a uh, candle light. And here are the pictures. So that concludes our speed build. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more. And thank you for watching. Bye, guys. And don't forget to drop a comment letting me know if you guys want to see other videos such as Let's Plays or what kind of speed builds you guys want to see in the future. Thank you.